So in this lecture, we are going to discuss the hypaxial muscle. Okay. In the lecture before, we described the muscle of the forelimb, and as I said, we have two type of muscle. We have the extrinsic muscle, and we have the intrinsic muscle. In this picture, our main topic will be the hypaxial muscle. Hypaxial muscle, just to orient you, if you remember from the vertebral anatomy, we said we have the transverse process of the vertebra. And any muscle is found dorsal or above. The transverse processes is called apaxial muscle. Whereas the muscle that found ventral to the transverse process is called hypaxial muscle. Usually the hypaxial muscle is divided into region where they are found. For example, in the neck region, we have two muscles. We have the longest cavitus muscle. We have longus coli. In the thoracic region, we have the scalenius, serratus ventralis, serratus dorsalis, and external intercostal and internal intercostal muscle. Whereas in the abdominal region, we have the external abdominal oblique, internal abdominal oblique, transverse abdominus, and rectus abdominus muscle. So we'll start in the neck region. We have the first muscle, which is the longest cavities, which is lies in the lateral cer lateral area of the cervical region. You can see this muscle here, this is the neck region, and we have this muscle here, this is the longest cavities. It's extend from the transverse process or processes of the cervical vertebra toward the occipital bone toward the head so that so that why we call it the longus cavitus the other muscle we have is the longus coli and this muscle to be able to see it we have to reflect the trachea so we have to reflect the trachea and it's usually found ventral to the cervical region this muscle here is the longus coli this muscle covers the ventral surface of the cervical vertebra and it starts from the thoracic vertebra number six now if we go to the thoracic region we have several muscle we have the first muscle here you can see this one here which has the triangular in shape muscle this is the scalenius then we have this muscle here which is the serratus ventralis muscle if we reflect this muscle the serratus ventralis will be able to see the serratus dorsalis cranialis and caudalis and then we can see there is muscle here between the ribs which is the intercostal muscle and we have two type of muscle we have the external and we have the internal intercostal muscle so if we start with the first muscle which is the scalenius muscle this one here as we can see it's attached to the first few ribs okay and the transverse processes of the cervical vertebra this muscle here is the scalenius muscle and you can see it's divided into several slips it's not just one part it's different parts or different segments then we have this muscle here, which is the serratus ventralis, which is a fan-shaped muscle. This muscle has its origin from the ribs and from the vertebra. And this muscle here, their insertion or its insertion will be in the serrated face of the scapula, the subscapular region. If we reflect this muscle here, this muscle will appear. This muscle is the serratus dorsalis muscle. And because we have cranial portion and we have caudal portion, so this one we call it serratus dorsalis cranialis, where the other part is the serratus dorsalis caudalis. Okay? And usually this muscle is arise from. Prot aponeurosis from the thoracic 
and lumbar region and usually they are inserted in the proximal portion of the ribs so if you remember here we have the midline in the ventral portion which is the linea alpha in the neck region in the dorsal region also we have a line that divide the body into right and left so this muscle will start from this area here which is the median raphe from the thoracic region and from the abdominal region thoracic spine and also from the lumbar spine the next muscle we have we have the intercostal muscle from the name this muscle is found between the ribs intercostal muscle we have two type of muscle we have the external intercostal muscle and we have the internal intercostal muscle to be able to differentiate between these muscle the muscle that found outside and their fibers run at the codo ventrally okay from the here codo to the tail and ventrally to the abdomen this muscle is the external intercostal muscle whereas the muscle that run at the opposite direction which will be the codo ventrally uh, cranio ventrally this muscle will be the internal intercostal muscle So the one that run at this orientation codo ventrally that will be the external intercostal muscle whereas the muscle that run at the opposite orientation which is the cranio ventrally this muscle will be the internal intercostal muscle now we'll talk about the muscle that found in the abdominal region but I'm going to describe it later when I describe the muscle of the abdominal region we have four muscle we have the external abdominal oblique muscle we have the internal abdominal oblique muscle we have the transverse abdominal muscle and we have the rectus abdominal muscle if you can see this muscle here the fiber runs at the cordo ventral similar to the external abdominal oblique muscle uh, external intercostal muscle this muscle will be external abdominal oblique muscle whereas the muscle that run in the opposite direction which is cranioventrally this will muscle will be the internal abdominal oblique muscle so this muscle here cover part of the thoracic region and the lumbar region this is the external abdominal oblique muscle and here we can see the muscle that run from the dorsal ventrally this muscle will be the transverse abdominal muscle and we can see there's muscle that runs in a straight from the last sternibra toward the pubic bone this muscle is the rectus abdominal muscle you can see here this is the fiber that I said it's the dorsal ventrally and this is the muscle that found in the ventral portion of the abdominal wall this is the muscle is the rectus abdominal muscle and you can see here this muscle that the fiber is running toward cranioventrally this muscle will be the internal abdominal oblique muscle thank you